Writing About People, a poetry exercise after Marina Zvataiva. This workshop is dedicated to Mr. B and his eighth grade class at St. John's, as well as to all the young women at Proyecto Mariposas in Columbus, Ohio. This workshop is dedicated to writing about people. Anyone can complete this exercise as long as you have imagination. You can complete it if you're age five or aged 95. Step one, free writing. So I want to start our workshop with some automatic writing or free writing as it's known. In the 19th century, people believed that if they would just start writing, spirits would write through them and send them messages. In the 20th century, the French surrealists thought that just by writing automatically without thinking about it too much, uh, you could tap into the unconscious. For us, it's just a simple way to start the workshop and to get you writing. So to complete your free writing, take a timer, maybe on your phone, and set it up for three to five minutes. What I want you to do is to think about a person that you know well and write as much as you can about them for three to five minutes. Every detail you can think of, how you know them, things that they normally do or say, what they wear, every detail you can. Step two, read an example poem. The poem that I'm going to read to you is by Russian poet Marina Zvataiva. I translated this poem in my most recent collection. It's from Poems for Bloch. Alexander Bloch was another Russian poet whose work Zvataiva really loved. She never actually met him, but she must have felt a certain kind of intimacy to have been able to actually write this poem. So I'll go ahead and read the poem. It's from Poems for Block. Your name sings a feathery thing in the hand. A name hums like ice frosting the tongue. On the smack of two lips, your name is sung. Spat black letters, the satisfying flight of ball from hand to hand, or the silver retort when clapper meets bell. When a stone is thrown up over flat water, the sob that breaks the surface is a song of your name. Night hooves wrapping out sound your name, unexpected like thunder and intimate as a gun to the temple. Your name sounds the trigger click. How impossible to sing your name, this name of yours, delicate as a kiss on the eye, lips frosting each lid, and even more, a name sung by a mouthful of snow, blue and glacial, icy water gulped deep, this name that sings a long drink of sleep. Step three, thinking about objects and images. Zvataiva's poem uses lots of objects and images to give us a sense of block, who Block was, and also something about their name. There's a bird in the hand, there's a pistol, there are all kinds of images in there which gives us a sense of who this person is. Can you do the same for the person that you want to write about? Take a moment to look over your free writing and see if any objects or specific things came up. For example, something that that person used to wear or an object that's of great value to them. If you haven't got any objects or images in your description yet, then you might want to think about trying to list some, list things that you associate with that person, whether it's a particular plate that they eat off, something they carry around with them, or something they've given to you, maybe even a photograph that you both appear in. Step four, find a structure and write the poem. Structure is very important for poetry. Form is important. You might notice there's a repeated phrase, your name, your name, this name, which has a lovely lyrical quality to it. 
You might like to try using a repeated phrase as well, perhaps repeating the name of the person you're writing about. This person is the watch they carry with them to work each day. This person is the flower they gave me the last time they saw me. This kind of structure can help you in the beginning and later on you can always cut those repeated phrases if you feel like the effect is too strong. Good luck with writing the poem. I'm excited to see what you come up with. Workshop by Zoe Brigley, zoebrigley.com.